Welcome to Purity Class for June 2022. I do not own the rights to this music. Please have pen and paper ready to write down the scriptures for today's lesson and to study in your own time. The topic is study the Bible. Paul told Timothy in 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 15, Study to show thyself approved unto God a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. This scripture sets the standard about Bible study. The purpose is to rightly divide the word. In the NIV version, it says 2 Timothy 2 verse 15, do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. To rightly divide can mean to handle the word correctly. In order to handle it correctly, we have to know it, which is a very good reason for Bible study. What can we get from Bible study? Let's look at some scriptures about the Bible and the word of God. David said in Psalms 119 verse 11, Thy word have I hid in my heart, that I might not sin against thee. When we have the word in our hearts, it can keep us from sinning. Knowing the beatitudes can help you show mercy or be a peacemaker instead of provoking someone. Jesus said in John chapter 6, verse 63, that his words were spirit and life. After this particular discourse, some left following Jesus. Jesus asked those remaining, Are you leaving also? Peter responded that you have the words of eternal life. If we study the words of Jesus, we can get eternal life. In most King James Bibles, the words of Jesus are in red, so they can be easily identified. Studying God's word can also bring life to our physical bodies. In Proverbs 4, verses 20 to 23, Solomon is telling us that the word should be before our eyes. This gets the word in our hearts. Once we get the word in our hearts, it becomes medicine to us. In Joshua chapter 1, verse 8, it says, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. The key to success according to this passage is to meditate on the word. Another way to translate meditation is to mutter or repeat it to oneself. That keeps in your mouth. In order to know what to say or mutter, the Bible must be studied. The scriptures for today's lesson. Please write them down and study. Ezra chapter 7 verse 10. For Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord and to do it and to teach in Israel statutes and judgments. Proverbs chapter 4, verses 10 through 13. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in right paths. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened, and when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Take fast hold of instruction, let her not go, keep her, for she is thy life. Acts chapter 17 verse 11. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness of mind, and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 and 17. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. 
1 Peter 3, verse 15. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts, and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you, with meekness and fear. Psalm 119, verses 96 through 98. I have seen an end of all perfection, but thy commandment is exceeding broad. Oh, how I love thy law. It is my meditation all the day. Though through thy commandments has made me wiser than mine enemies, for they are ever with me. John chapter 5. Verses 39 to 47. Search the scriptures, for in them ye think ye have eternal life, and they are they which testify of me. And ye will not come to me that ye might have life. I receive not honor from men, but I know you, that ye have not the love of God in you. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him you will receive. How can you believe which receive honor one of another, and seek not the honor that cometh from God only? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. For had ye believed Moses, ye would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if ye believe not his writings, how shall ye believe my words? Psalm 37, verse 31. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. Study the scriptures. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.